Hi, I'm Debbie Nelson with Nixine Publishing here in the United States. And we are continuing our discussion about graphene with our editor in chief, Adrian Nixon, who comes to us from Yorkshire, England. Hi, Adrian, how are you? I'm very well, Debbie. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. So for today's discussion, I was hoping that you would explain to us what's going on with graphene in concrete. Yes. Like, yeah, this is top of our radar, isn't it? It really is. We should have done this ages ago. It's taken us a long while to get around to doing it. Can I yeah. share my screen again? This is the biggie. Um, it started off a few years ago. Graphene's been put into a lot of composites. And uh, first graphene in the University of Adelaide and others um, started to put graphene into concrete and found massive increases for tiny amounts of graphene addition. Um, here, it's about 0.03% graphene and increases the strength by well over 20%. You no, know, it's, it's amazing how, how much you can just take a little bit of graphene and, and have magnificent results. Yeah, and it's even more important because as the second bullet point there says, graphene is one of the most consumed materials in the world. There's about a ton for every person on the planet each year. It's massive. That's so if we have a look at what graphene actually does in concrete. So I did a, a study last year and looked at across the, the piece and put together a range of similar studies. So there's been a lot of studies out there looking at different types of graphene in different types of concrete. What I've tried to do is extract out from all these studies the common forms of uh, concrete and the common forms of graphene. And th there are two really, there's graphene and graphene oxide, but the major one seems to be um, graphene oxide rather than graphene. And you can see here, these yellow bars um, show uh, different types of graphene oxide. So these are all different studies and they're all referenced at the bottom down here. So you can check our results if needed. And look at the imp improvements in compressive strength. Um, you know, if you were to take an average line through it, it'd be well in excess of 25%. But let, let's say we err on the side of caution and just say about 25%. There's a bit of variability there, but we'll address that in a minute. But m all of these were done using around about 0.03% of graphene by weight on concrete, which is 0.01% on cement. And that increases the strength by well over 25%. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it, it really is. So then they're using less materials and getting better results. Exactly. So that means 25% less concrete can be used for the same strength. You're spot on, Debbie. The interesting thing is when you look at global cement production, this accounts for 8% of global CO2 emissions. So if you take a quarter off that, and th this, this data is done by Chatham House, uh, we're a very reputable source. That means a quarter off that 8% means you could have at least 2% reduction in global CO2 emissions using graphene if you just put graphene in concrete tomorrow. And, and you're only even and you're only using a little bit of graphene. So. Yeah, yeah, tiny, tiny amounts. And graphene can be made by several routes. So it's, it's unlikely that we're going to run out of graphene. And as you know, Debbie, I think you've been involved with this, haven't you? The, um, last year, uh, a convention center was constructed in Mexico with graphene-enhanced concrete. Yeah, it sure was. They um, started out small with a small experimental um, project, yep. uh, loved what was going on and just expanded. And maybe we'll revisit that with uh, another video. But for now, um, the big thing is that you could save 2% of global CO2 emissions by putting graphene into concrete. There are some issues to be solved. So the variability you see in these slides here and these different results, they're probably down to the way that the graphene was mixed with the concrete. And so there's a little bit of work to be done on the application side, making sure that uh, that applications of graphene into concrete in the real world is done in a consistent way. But that, that's a solvable problem um, and a fairly sort of uh, easy, easy engineering problem to overcome. And the big thing now is, I'll just stop sharing this, uh, my screen. The big thing now really is just going to get people to adopt it. And I think you're picking up already that there are people around the world getting really, really interested in this. There are. I've, I've heard about this a project in numerous companies. So you know, with, it, with it being such a, a widely used material, it seems like there's plenty of opportunity to go around for everyone. This is something, something we're going to hear a lot more about. Yes, absolutely. Adrian, thank you so much for um, talking with me today. And um, let's get together and do this again soon. Pleasure as ever, Debbie. Bye-bye.